Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Just, just lovely. It's always lovely. Yeah, uh, post market wrap up on this lovely um, Monday, January 11, 2021. All right, here's the story. Stocks finished lower today. However, well off of the lows. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down 90 points. It was down 267 earlier. What does this mean? Is the market about to crash? Is it all going south? Is it over? How about no? How about no? Um, <laughs> unless you really don't understand what's going on around you. And it seems like m many people don't. You know what? Let me touch on that real quick. Touch on that real quick. Never take anything at face value. When you hear something or someone tries to tell you something, don't just be so quick to believe it. Do your own research. Think about what lies behind it. Okay, again, we are in and we have been for years in an environment of fakery, lies, propaganda, and misinformation. I mean, like you cannot believe uh, the booming economy. We never had a booming economy. I told you, one metric, the money velocity is all you needed to look at. Uh, we're at historic lows. Right now, we are at historic lows. During the time we were being told the economy is booming, we were near historic lows. You can't have a booming economy without the money velocity moving higher. All a lie. All a lie. We've never had a booming economy. What we have seen boom is debt, a massive debt explosion on an unprecedented scale. That's what has happened over the last few years. Nothing else. The illusion that things were good. You see where we are right now, despite the fact that we have the scamdemic. Uh, we this this is nothing compared to where we really should be at, and it's probably coming down the pike here again. You know what's going on. At least I hope you do. The emergence of a new feudal system. I've explained this to you for like a decade. It was going to come. Here it is. We had no idea what the mechanism was going to be to drive it. Well, you know, introduce the scandemic, shut down the global economy, allow the central banks to print cash out of thin air in any amount they want to. It's incredible. It absolutely is. Oh, did you hear that today? The Federal Reserve is prepared to increase asset purchases. Here we go again. So the Federal Reserve is telling you they got the back of the market, period. That's it. They're not going to let the market drop. If the Federal Reserve has to, they will get in here and buy stock. They're already doing it. They're, they are manipulating the market through every avenue you can possibly dream about and think about or anything else. That's what's going on. It's the central banks running the show. We have no government. The government is the central banks. It's not President Trump, soon to be Biden, whoever else. It's not them. That's the theater. That's the lie you're being sold here. You understand? Look, we are living in some crazy times. Absolutely. And the mechanism of fear, fear, and even more fear must be shoved down your throat to keep you confused, angry, stressed out, unable to think straight. You hear the new one? Armed conflict. Armed conflicts. Yeah, it may be that. Armed protests are being planned in all the states. Look, tr true or not, real or not, this is about fear here, okay? More fear. They need you afraid. You're afraid of it. They control your mind. You know that. So again, this will pass. Where we are now, look, I'm old enough to know that I, I've seen all kinds of stuff in my life. I'm what, 55? Yeah, I'm 55. I've seen a lot of stuff in my life. I like history. I like reading books. I understand what's happened in the past. This is nothing new. It's nothing new. Uh, this discontent uh, in, in society, the fact that whatever government we think we have is raping us. How many of you even realize, it was, it's all over the news, that um, major corporations are now, and the banks, okay, are not going to be uh, supporting Republican candidates anymore, like Ted Cruz. Uh, uh, did you know that the banks are buying Every single one of our Congress people, duh, duh, okay, they own them. They own them all. You name a politician that's been in office for any length of time, they're bought and paid for. They put out their agenda, 
when they want it. They don't work for you. None of it works for you. It's a corporate agenda being run by the Federal Reserve, the central banks, period. You know that. Anyway, going back to the markets, this plays right into what I'm talking about. The market is going higher. They got a stranglehold on this market. The valuations are going to go crazy. Look, understand what's happening. We're going to get a repricing here of the entire market. What am I talking about? It's very simple. Uh, massive, massive debt expansion. Massive is coming. We've seen it already and, it, and a lot more is coming. So what's going to happen here is... The market is going to reprice itself on multiples. You're going to see a multiple expansion occur via the new debt paradigm. We are in a new debt paradigm like you have no idea. Maybe you do. I, I, I hope you do, at least. Again, all smoke and mirrors. There's never been an economic recovery. There's never been an economic boom. You are being sold a lie. Look at the stock market. Look at the stock market. All time high. Look at the stock market. Rah, rah, rah. We're doing great. Tremendous. Fantastic. Lie, 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 and more propaganda right out of the mouth of the figurehead that was chosen to lead our nation. And now we, we're going to have a new figurehead. And that figurehead is all it is. It's an illusion. It's not real. It's a spoke, spokesperson for the freaking New World Order, for the, the, the banking cartel, the central banks, the corporate agenda. That's where we are at, people. Wake the freak up. Some of you think this is real, what you're seeing around us, the takeover of the capital. <gasps> really? You think that was real? No, it was designed to happen to enforce a police state further enforce the police state, allowed to happen, called on to happen via Twitter messages and everything else. Get people over there. Make sure there's no police there to stop the people from rushing in because that wouldn't fulfill the end game, which is to increase the police state. Imagine, imagine if someone out here had the brain cells or the brain power to understand there would be a riot. Hold on a second. That was the president. The president of the United States, Donald Trump, knew it. How do we know that? He pre-recorded a video. And he said, they stole the election, everyone. But now it's time for us to go home. He literally said that in a pre-taped video. Okay. He knew. We all knew that there was going to be some disturbance over there. But no. Make sure you don't put any police there. Because it would stop. It would have prevented the Capitol from being invaded. You understand? And that would have not allowed the police state to manifest itself. Now we'll look what they're doing. They're talking about armed protests around the nation. They're talking about deploying the National Guard. Thousands and thousands of troops. Police state. Police state. All that's what this is. But don't be fearful and don't be afraid. Just be aware. And understand what you need to do about it. That's what this is all about, people. My goodness. All right, look. So again... Stocks fell today. Big freaking deal. Nothing much is going on here. 10-year yield, $1.13. Dollar today, need your car or it won't last. It can't last with epic debt acquisition, epic debt issuance coming down the pike right out of the mouth of the puppet Biden, who's another puppet. Trump, puppet. <laughs> Biden, puppet. <laughs> That's what they are. They're puppets. Puppets. You understand? They don't matter. And I'll say it again, if Trump won all the votes, 100% of them, we'd still have Biden because you don't matter. The corporations, the corporate agenda picks who they want. That's it. Trump worked out beautiful. He absolutely did. Take Obama, have him divide the nation, take another guy, divide them even further, make them hate each other. It's working beautiful. New world order. Absolutely. That's what they want. Divide and conquer. Now, once they suck him dry and they suck the president dry, Pre President Trump got sucked dry here. Okay. Get a new guy in here. Let's, let's use him to our advantage and let's suck him dry too. Let's, let's create a theater for the American people and the people of the world. Let's, you know, the, what the central banks are doing here, really, it, it's, it's the crime of the century. They're taking over the world by dollarizing the world. They're buying everything they can, everything they want to, with dollars created out of thin air. But no, 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 you're not supposed to know that. You're supposed to look here, look here, look at the capital. It got taken over. No police to stop it. Duh, 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 really? Look over here, booming economy. Rah, rah, rah. No, we're not. We're crashing. But inflate that debt. Let's give the illusion that things are doing great. And when all else fails, shut down the global economy so the Fed can get in here and the other central banks and do what they started 
1913 with regard to the Federal Reserve and take over the earth. That's what they're doing. But no, you're not supposed to know that. You're supposed to know what Nancy Pelosi is doing and how many times she blows her nose. And you're supposed to know what McConnell's doing and how many times he wipes his ass. That's what you're supposed to know. That's all they're allowing you to know because everything else is above your pay grade. I think you know that. Wow. Let's talk about cryptocurrencies. We've got to smash down today. Okay, no secret. It's no secret. Bitcoin hit 42000 I put out... Again, in my newsletter, there is a link in the description of this video. On my video blogs, I tried to warn people. I said, hey, you know what, people? Might be a good idea to pull some profits here. Look, I can't tell you what to do straight out. I can leave myself open to legal problems. But if I suggest something, and I do it all the time, like on my newsletter, when I buy a, when I buy a particular stock and I'm trying to relay that message to my lions, I'm like, okay, my lions, I bought this. I'm not saying lions buy this. And when it comes to sell, I don't say lions sell your stock or sell your option positions. I say consider pulling profits. We learn how to read between the lines a little bit here. Okay. I told all of you, I literally told all of you to sell Bitcoin at $42,000. $42, I told you to sell it at $42,000. Just listen to the wording here. Okay, people. Maybe you should consider selling it. You know, if you've been a pig, don't become a pig. You got to learn to read between the lines. Again, I can't sit here and tell you things directly because I do not feel like leaving myself open to legal litigation. Anyway, with regard to the smashdown of cryptocurrencies here, let, let's put a little light on that. The entire market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is around, was around a trillion dollars. Now, if you look at that in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. For example, Apple. Apple market cap is like $2.6 trillion. That's just out of my head. I think it's about $2.6 trillion. Uh, Microsoft is about $1.5 trillion. These are one companies. So when you look at the collective market cap of cryptocurrencies, they're extremely thinly traded. All you need is a big player or two or three or ten to start dumping this stuff or buying this stuff to get humongous moves. You understand? You understand? That's the way it works. Um, so, look, does this shake me? Does it shake, rattle, and roll me? How about no? How about no? And everyone who is a speculator in the cryptocurrency uh, market here should expect this stuff. You know, I get bombarded today. You know, you got to see my email box. Greg, Bitcoin's going zero. You better get out. You better get out now. Oh, the cryptocurrency market's going down, Greg. It's going to zero. You're wrong. You're wrong. I've been hearing that forever now. And every single time these morons are wrong. Duh. They've been wrong. Okay? So to me... Until I am wrong, I'm going to tell you that this is a buying opportunity, period, the end. What's going to happen? Mass des debt is issuance. Mass debt issuance. You got it? So you want to hold the dollar? Good for you. You're going to lose. I guarantee it. People, I don't know what to tell you anymore. Like, if you've been following this blog for six months, you probably know more about the market than, than, than Wall Street hedge fund managers. It's the truth. Forget the crap they're shoving down your throat. Forget the fear, the confusion, the misinformation from the even the mainstream financial channels. Bitcoin's in a bubble. Bitcoin's this. We've been hearing Bitcoin bubbles since, I don't know, since Bitcoin was $100. It's retarded, okay? But again, you must be led astray. You can't know the truth. You're supposed to look here, not look here. Be completely distracted. Be made angry, confused, stressed out so you can't think. It's too much, people. It really, really is. All right, look, this video is getting kind of long here. I think I went off the deep end, but it's true. Look, I'm going to leave you off with something here, and I need your help. Actually, I don't need your help. This guy needs your help. Right here. This is Prince. Okay. Um, I adopted this little guy about a year and a half ago. Now, it just turns out that he's sick. Um, we just found out that he's got... Uh, chronic kidney disease stage three. Now, I fully believe in the power of prayer. So if you believe in a higher power, I'm going to ask all of you out here to maybe think about this little guy today or maybe say a little prayer for him. I know we can make a difference with uh, you know, some collective prayer here. 
All right, so this is Prince. He had to get some medicine through an IV the other day. You can't see his arm. Can you see his arm? It's got a, a little shave spot. He'll be okay, right? Anyway, I hope so. I love the little guy, and I'd hate to see him go. So I really need you. Your prayers would be really, really appreciated. All right? I'm going to put him back down. He's really kind of not feeling very well. Anyway, uh, all right, people. I love you a lot. Please share the video. Don't forget to pray for Prince here. Maybe if you want to just take a moment right now, I'd greatly appreciate that. And um, think about what I talked about in this video. Okay? It's all true. All of it. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay?